Driven, 2022 Ferrari F8 Spider is the ultimate used supercar. With killer looks, Ferrari's most power-dense V8 ever, at the time of release, and the ability to switch from refined road user to screaming race car with the turn of the Manatino dial, the F8 is arguably the perfect supercar. It's a recipe that Marinello has been perfecting over decades, and as we reach the end of the ICE age, Ferrari has delivered something extra special in a segment that is bloated with exceptional exotica. We were 99% sure the 2022 Ferrari F8 Spider would live up to its reputation, but after spending a couple of days with the drop-top deity in New Jersey, we now know for sure. There is a small problem with buying this car, however. In April, Ferrari announced that the order intake for the F8 Triduto and F8 Spider has been suspended due to the volume of orders received. In short, that means unless you can convince someone to park with their build slot, you'll have to peruse the used car market, and we know what that's like at the moment. A quick look on our used cars section and the cheapest we could find is a 2021 model for $499,900 with average prices hovering around $600,000 that's double the F8 Spider's base price. You might want to wait for prices to come down, which could take a while, or buy one now, have some fun for a few months, and sell it for a small loss. Either way, there's a lot to like about the F8. This is a Ferrari, so we have to start with the engine. Every supercar is fast these days, and the F8 is crazy fast. Every supercar also has silly power figures, and with 710 horsepower on tap, the F8 is just as guilty. But where Ferrari can't be matched is the throttle response at any speed. It can match a naturally aspirated car at 2000 RPM, instantly pinning you back with the squeeze of the throttle. And from there, the chase to 8000 RPM is on, with each flick of the paddle shifter generating a pop and what feels like an additional dollop of acceleration. The F8 is a speed junkie, relentlessly chasing the red line with spellbinding torque delivery that doesn't let up. The F8's two-faced nature comes from the fact Ferrari used a heavily revised version of the 488 Spiders platform, that dates back to the 458, and gave it the performance of the track-focused 488 Pista. So we have a comfortable cruiser and a genuine daily driver on the one hand and the ability to rocket to 124 miles per hour in 8.2 seconds on the other, clocking 62 miles per hour in a shade under 3 seconds. The sensational 3.9-liter twin-turbo V8 sends 710 horsepower, 50 horsepower up from the 488 horsepower thanks to 50% new parts, including titanium turbocharger turbine wheels to the rear wheels without a hint of turbo lag, with 568 lbft of torque from 3250 rpm providing epic mid-range performance. It's an overwhelming experience at times, especially how the engine comes alive at any speed. With the roof down and the sun bouncing off the sultry yellow bodywork, there's never a dull moment in the F8, although we'd like a bit more oral excitement. The sound is sufficient and there's a lovely snarl at start up, but when clicking through the gears, it's just not as tuneful as you might expect of an Italian V8. This is the result of EU emissions regulations that mandated a gas particulate filter for each downpipe. But this is certainly no deal breaker. Finished in a shade of yellow called Giallo Medina, the F8 is essentially a mild update of one of the greatest car designs of the 21st century. The 458 arrived back in 2009, followed by the 488 in 2015. And the similarities are obvious to see, which we think is a good thing. A timeless design is exactly that, and the F8 has inherited these perfect Italian thoroughbred genes. Ferrari buyers, like most purveyors of high-end exotica, like the personal touch. Customization is key, which is why the Italian carmaker offers a plethora of options. On our test car, the list of additional goodies came to over $90,000. On the outside, these include glossy silver wheels housing blue brake calipers with titanium wheel bolts, Scuderia Ferrari shields on the fenders, titanium exhaust pipes, a matte black hood insert, and a carbon fiber B-pillar insert. Swathes of embroidered leather in a sophisticated shade of blue sterling and carbon fiber trim elevate the interior with a yellow rev counter complementing the special giallo stitching. 
The Corsa carbon fiber racing seats are a must if you plan on pushing the needle eastwards on a regular basis. Most used examples will come well stocked with options but make sure to shop around for one that has been fully loaded. If you are happy to buy a used Ferrari, the 488 Spider looks like a $350,000 bargain in today's market, or you can look at the rarer 488 Pista Spider that is commanding around $800,000 at the other end of the V8 spectrum. The F8 Spider has a couple of years left in production before its replacement arrives. But, as we said, you can't order one. So if you must have a new Ferrari now, you have a couple of options in this price range. For a couple of hundred grand less, the Roma is a different animal, more GT in its application with distinct styling and a long hood where the engine resides. The 296 GTS is the F8's sibling with the most similar characteristics, although you'll be a couple of cylinders short and be aided by electrification. You do get over 800 horsepower for your $400,000 investment, but we think it lacks the visual drama of Ferrari's V8 line of beauties. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.